Hey there, well here we have seven one ounce Troy silver coins from around the world which I filmed in 4K. These are bullion coins that many people buy and sell as investments or as stores of value. They're certainly not the only way to invest in silver. Many people choose to trade them with an ETF like SLV. Please note that I am not an investment professional and none of this video or commentary should be construed as investment advice. So these coins aren't proof coins. Their value lies mainly in the price of silver itself and they cost a little bit above the spot price. There's not really any numismatic value to them right now since they're all year 2016, except for the silver Hawks team. At the time I got these coins, spot silver cost a little below $20 an ounce, so each coin was priced in the low 20s. You could also get silver rounds or bars, which would cost a lower premium depending on their weight, but I like coins that have a government face value also. So while American silver eagles are the best known silver bullion in the US, they're not the only coin that's made by a government mint and that has a face value in the local currency. Other options include Canadian maple leaves, silver Britannias, Austrian philharmonics, and Australian kangaroos, which you'll see in this video. The video also shows the Armenian Noah's Ark and the Nui silver Hawksbill. These coins are made by private mints, but they still have a face value in the local currency. I ordered all of these coins from online bullion websites. I consulted Appmex, APMEX, JM Bullion, and Provident Metals, and compared prices. I found that in general, the Silver Eagle had premiums higher than many of the foreign bullion coins, so if you want a coin made by a government mint that has a lower premium than the Eagle, consider the Britannias, Philharmonics, Kangaroos, and so forth. It's just, you know, good to look at the different possibilities. Another option is the Mexican Silver Libertad, although I wasn't able to find a very good deal on it. There's also the Chinese Silver Panda, but the weight of that coin is slightly different, and I wanted to stick to coins that were exactly one troy ounce. I recorded each coin in 4K right after removing it from the packaging it came in. Uh, after removing the coins and holding them, I found that they would lose some of their shine over time, even within a couple days. Uh, I should warn you that taking the coins out of their packaging and handling them may lower the resale value of these coins. So consult an export resource uh, on coins. I'm definitely not an expert. Uh, if you're concerned with keeping them in as good condition as possible and in as good value as possible. So the, the coins here are either at least 99.9% .9 silver or at least 99.99% silver. So they're much purer than something like sterling silver. Of course, like gold, silver is very soft and is vulnerable to scratching. So that's another reason why it's important to handle them carefully, unlike what I'm doing. The price of silver per ounce has had a really interesting history. It had a huge rise around 1980 to nearly $50 an ounce because of an attempt to corner the market. In the early 90s, though, it slipped below $4 an ounce, and in the early 2000s, the price was around $4 to $5 an ounce. Uh, however, as the decade went on, silver made huge gains and hit nearly 50 an ounce in 2011, but the price dropped soon after that, and in January 2016, spot silver was below $14. Um, at the time I got these coins, the price of silver was close to 20 an ounce. Um, I think it's fair to say that the price of silver is more volatile than the price of gold, um, although gold too has seen a recent large rise uh, followed by a fall. I find the physical coins beautiful, and I also like the variation among the different coins you see here. I think my favorite designs are the Eagle, the Maple Leaf, and the Britannia, but you can also invest in silver with an exchange-traded fund like SLV if holding the metal in your hand isn't as important. Some basic tips I would give if you want to buy coins like I did, uh, and this is based on my very limited experience. First, look at online retailers like Atmex, JM Bullion, Provident Metals, and so on. They have a huge selection and it's easy to compare prices. Second, avoid paying with a credit card since it will cost more. Third, you can avoid shipping costs, uh, sometimes if you buy enough at a time, uh, and that's usually $99 or $100 for these sites. Finally, you'll sometimes get a discount if you buy a lot of coins at a time, but your budget may not allow for that. Um, you can also sell coins back to online retailers if you wanted to sell them. On a technical note, uh, to get close-up views of these coins, I used some optical zoom with my camera, since if I held the camera too close to the coin, it would block the light source and create a shadow. I think the moving lines in the background are due to the refresh rate of my LED light bulb. I experimented with filming these in the daylight, but I think it's easier to see the relief of the coins uh, when there's one light source. Um, so there, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I would love to hear in the comments about uh, your thoughts on buying silver, 
or on buying gold versus silver, or simply on what your favorite design uh, on each of these coins was. Uh, and have have a great rest of your day.